Yo, so check it out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is General Tony and welcome my friends back to my channel 12 base. Now I did mention in the previous episode guys, I had to have emergency surgery on my stomach so my voice isn't as loud as usual because I can't speak very loud, it will hurt my stomach. So I do apologize guys if I do sound a little bit strange, but over the next week we should return to sounding normal and we'll also be returning to daily uploads. I'm just trying to heal as quickly as I can, but check this out. Over the last couple of hours, guys, for the last five or six hours, we have been farming and we have maxed out our gold storages. Now, we got 12 million gold, but we're going to be doing something special in this video, guys. If we head over into the shop and we go into the league shop, we are going to be spending and getting ourselves a gold rush, guys. Now, we've got 120 league points and we have a great choice of what we want to buy. Now, we don't have any storages inside of our, uh, any space inside of our gold storage. So if we want to buy gold, we're going to have to spend the gold we have already. But um, I've got a question for you. Let me know down below in that comment section, guys. What would you buy if you had 120 league points? So we can buy a hammer of fighting, a hammer of building, and of course, a hammer of spells. Or we could get the warrior statue, guys, which is, of course, the cheapest statue. And uh, you're only allowed one of them. Or we could save our points and we could possibly get the champion statue in a couple of months time guys who knows that could be an option but what i'm gonna do this is gonna be a gold rush we're gonna see how much gold we can get inside of a single episode guys so to start off we're gonna need to spend our 12 million gold and then we're gonna go back into the league shop and we're gonna get even more guys so 12 million gold what should we upgrade so our choices are we could do an inferno tower this one's only level 3, guys, and that's going to be a 9 million gold upgrade. Or, we could actually upgrade the Tornado Trap, guys. Now, the Tornado Trap has 3 levels, and mine's only level 1. So, I think we're going to start off by upgrading the Tornado Trap. So, let's go ahead and click the upgrade button, guys. And that's going to be a 2-day upgrade. But, if we head over into our Clan Castle, click the Magic Items, we do have 2 Book of Buildings. So we might use one of them in a couple of moments time guys, but we got 8 million gold left Let's see what else we can upgrade. So if I go over we do have the choice to do an elixir collector So what I'm gonna do instead of doing that I'm gonna come here and I am going to upgrade a wall Then we're gonna go over here and I think we're gonna go back into the league shop guys Yeah, let's go into the league shop and let's grab ourselves some gold. So 2.5 million gold That's gonna be 25 league points Another 2.5 million and another 2.5 million and that takes us to 10 million 500,000 gold guys. So so far we've spent about 20 million gold in the video So let's go back over here and let's upgrade. Should we do an inferno tower or Should I upgrade a different defense guys? We haven't got that much left to upgrade. We do have an archer tower That's gonna be 11 million. We have some mortars and I think we have some cannons. I think that's about it, guys. I've already maxed out both the bomb towers. And uh, I think we can also possibly do some upgrades to our bombs. Can we upgrade our mines? Yes, we can. Not our mines, but we can upgrade our air bombs. So, let's go for this inferno. And let's click the upgrade button, guys. 9 million gold. And that takes us back down to 1.5 million in resources. Now, we don't have any builders free. But I do have 7.5 million in elixir, guys. So what I'm going to do, I am going to click the finish now button. And we're going to use a book of building to upgrade to a level 4 inferno tower, guys. So we need 10 million to get that inferno tower back to the next level. We just got back inside of the Titans 3 league. So what I'm going to do now, we are going to upgrade another one of these level 13 walls using our elixir. For those of you that do not know, we have nothing left to upgrade with the elixir, guys. So all we can do with it is use it on walls and the dark elixir we can't do anything with that either and uh, i think we can possibly sorry upgrade a dark elixir drill yeah the only thing we've got left to do with the elixir is upgrade dark elixir drills guys but we'll do that over the next couple of weeks as we continue to max out our base guys so we've got one builder free let's do another upgrade let's see if we can do this gold collector guys that's going to be 500 and 4000 elixir and that's going to get that going to level 12 so let's just take a look at what we've actually got left to max out guys if i edit this layout let's see what's left so we are of course we've been playing for four years so i have some collectors okay so four elixir collectors 
We've got... That one's upgrading, that one's upgrading, that one's upgrading. Oh, we've got four of them upgrading! So we only have one gold mine left. Four elixir collectors. We have six cannons. That's gonna take us quite a while, guys. That's about 70 million gold to upgrade those. We have... Do we have any archer towers? Yes, we do, guys. We've got quite a few of these. I think we've got seven. So that's gonna be about 90 million gold. So, so far we're looking at about 200 million in resources, guys. Then we've got 152 of these walls. That's gonna take us a long time. Then we got every other one of those wizard towers and air defenses maxed out. We gotta do four mortars. That's about 45 million. And then finally, we need to do two of these dark elixir drills because we've already upgraded one of them. You can see it looks slightly different, guys. And then we've got a level four inferno tower, which needs to go to level six. We have, I think we can upgrade these bombs. And I believe we can upgrade the air bombs as well, guys. And then finally the tornado trap. So that is pretty much everything we've got left to max out. Apart from the walls, which obviously aren't on the map, guys, but it is definitely gonna be pretty fun as we go into Christmas and continue to max out this base. So what we're gonna do, check it out. We've got ourselves our army locked and loaded. Now in the previous video, I told you we were gonna try and get every single one of the stars on the single player maps, guys, but we failed. We failed so miserably. So we're gonna try this again, except this time we're gonna see if we can maybe manage to get some of these stars, guys. So there's only two stars left to get, and then I would have three starred every single one of the new single player maps. So what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna use this army, but I'm gonna delete the one we're making next, and uh, I'm basically gonna see if we can come up with some type of strategy which can take out these bases, guys. But I've got a secret plan. I have got a secret plan. So first off, let's attack Grand Avenue using this strategy, guys. Okay, so two Eagle Artilleries. There are a load of e Inferno Towers. I mean, it's eight of them in total. So I'm going to try and play this as smart as possible, guys. So to start off, I'm actually going to use a Baby Dragon to take out an Air Defense, guys. Now, if that works, that's actually pretty sweet. Come on, Baby Dragon. Oh, damn, it was close. Okay, let's use another one, guys. There we go. Air Defense is down. And now I just want to take out these Archer Towers on the wings, guys. Can we grab a couple of these defenses? If we can, that would be awesome. Almost grabbed both of them. Not quite. Okay, let's use some minions. And uh, let's grab those defenses. Okay, here we go. Go on! Oh, damn. Okay. Didn't quite manage to happen, but at least we got a little bit of damage on it. So now what I'm going to do... Going to drop in the Queen. Going to drop in the Healers. And I am going to come in with this army, guys. So here we go. There goes every single one of our troops. Rage Spell is going to go down. Obviously, this is quite a generic army, guys. So I'm going to smash the Grand Warden's ability. Use the Queen's ability. There goes a Rage Spell. I'm going to drop three spells on those dragons, which are coming out of the CC, guys. But obviously, this strategy doesn't work well. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go back, and I'm going to come up with something OP, guys. So, what should we try? We need to pick up the rest of these stars. So, let me remove these wall breakers. Head over into the training of the troops, guys, and let's come up with something. I reckon giants are going to be a great shout. So, I'm going to bring 12 giants. I am going to go for... Should we stick with bowlers? I think bowlers are a great option, guys. So, let's go with 12 giants, 12 bowlers. No healers. We're not going to bring any healers. I'm going to bring 12 wizards, could be dangerous, but could also be worthwhile. And then finally, I think we're going to go with balloons, guys. So this is going to be a cr pretty crazy army. It is definitely going to be pretty crazy. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the spaces with even more giants, guys. So let's gem that. We're going to go with three free spells. And we're not going to use a poison. So let's go with four free spells. Sorry, three. And let's go with another three rages, guys. So that is pretty much the entire army. Is it going to work? Hopefully it will. Let's grab the Grand Warden. I am going to grab the King. And then finally, we are going to grab the Queen, guys. So here it goes. Okay, so for some reason, guys, the connection actually cut out on the previous raid. And uh, we've done a 95% two-star. So we're going to try the same strategy again. And we're going to see if it works this time. So here we go. Giants in on that side. Giants in on the other. Oh, we're going to need to drop another giant in there because I failed with the wizard. There goes another one, guys. And uh, we should be able to clear those buildings. Okay, so we want to clear those air defenses. They're down. And now, once again, we can move in with the giants, guys. So right at the back, we're going to send in the bowlers just behind. Wall Wrecker coming in with, of course, the heroes. Wizards falling in. 
and then finally balloons but i'm going to keep a single balloon just in case and i'm going to use a grand warden's ability nice and early free spells are going to go down and i'm going to keep the final free spell guys and use it right in the center on those inferno towers so i've actually kept a couple of troops and uh it looks like we're gonna you lose a king damn come on boy oh we almost had it there guys we've almost got this raid in the bag let's go with another rage spell move in with these final few troops guys and uh let's take out this expo on the left hand side there it goes what have we got left alive a queen with her ability and i think that's checkmate guys let's pop the queen's ability She's going to take out the expo, drop the cannon, and the archer tower is down. So finally, we've managed to grab ourselves another star and take down the Grand Avenue, guys. And that leaves just a single star for the single player maps, which we will defeat in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But for now, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next one.